Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Cancer for the month of June 2010. And this also applies if you have a Cancer ascendant. So my Cancerians, happy birthday to your early, you early Cancerians. I hope it's a really good one and a really good year ahead for you. Cancerians, for much of this month, you are going to feel as though you're on a bit of a roller coaster. I have to tell you, the focus is going to be very much on your career, your work, your life direction, your finances and your relationships. So there's a lot to take in this month, Cancerians, and I know you'd rather have things come gradually at you, but things are not going to come gradually. So it's best if you can just somehow take a deep breath, brace yourself and be ready for some exciting changes. It's getting you a little bit out of a rut. It's getting you out of the space where you've You've just got used to a certain routine. You're not going to be able to have too many of your routines this month. Be ready for changes. A lot is happening in the sidelines in the background. You're thinking a lot. You're doing a lot of thinking and wondering and what if and worrying, concerned about your security, many of you right now. But Jupiter Uranus from the 6th of this month are going to be in your 10th house of career life direction. So this is really a time to take advantage of any opportunities, any people that come into your life connected with your career, connected with your work. It's a time, some of you may find endings here. Uranus in this house means that they may do some restructuring where you're working and you may find yourself without a job. You may find there's big changes happening, but something new coming in. Jupiter is there with it too. So don't get too worried. Jupiter always brings some kind of growth experience that moves you on to a higher, a new level. So whilst it may be unpleasant while you're going through it, it certainly brings you to something better once you're over the other side. So this can bring some good people into your life, people who want to give you opportunities, people who are able to guide you a little more, mentors and people who can help you forward with your career and your life direction. But Please be ready, Cancerians, for changes, major changes. I know you don't say, wow, great changes. I know you don't, but you are up for big changes. So I'm warning you of that. And if you can remember my words when suddenly, because it's going to be things out of the blue that are coming up unexpectedly, and you're going to say, whoa, I didn't expect this. If you can remember my words and just flow with that river, flow with the energy, because you are a water sign, you are able to flow when you put your mind to it, when you get into the water and off the sand, you get in there and you can flow along. And that will be the best way for you to deal with these vibrations. And then you will feel like you're coming onto a whole new level and a new level of awakening about your life. You're going to feel clearer than you felt in a long, long time. Mercury is in your 12th house for much of the month, so this is under the sun, so a lot of deep thinking going on, a lot of completions going on for Cancerians. I feel as though there are certain things that need to be completed and let go of. Many of you are holding on for grim death and it's time to let go of certain things. It could be a relationship, could be a job, could be a home, whatever it is, it needs letting go of. Could even just be a memory that's in your way of you moving forward. After about the 20th of the month, we've got sun and many planets in your first house. So this is the time to shine the light on yourself, to do something nice for yourself, Cancerians, something that you enjoy, whether it's a massage, whether it's going out somewhere nice, having your hair done, whatever it is, buying yourself a nice piece of clothing that you really like to wear, something that makes you feel good. Maybe starting a new exercise regime. Mars isn't there, so I'm not suggesting many of you will do that. But Venus there indicates just people being nice to you and you coming over very charming for other people and being able to get your own way. Uh, Mars is in your third house from about the 7th of the month. <clears throat> so this is a time for communicating, for really going out with a message, with anything that's important to you connected with studying and learning. So for those of you that have been putting off, maybe writing something, communicating something, publishing something, time to do it is this month and get in order and make a plan to move forward. Very important is we're going to see a balance this month between the pull in your relationships, Cancerians, the pull for people who want to be controlling in your relationships 
and for you wanting to take control of your relationships. You tend to be a giver and maybe the balance isn't quite equal enough for you and you're going to feel that this month. So you may find that there's some significant changes happening in your relationships. Once again, try to go more with the flow. Don't just stop in fright and find yourself paralysed and unable to act. Just take in the information, take in what's happening and try and understand what's going on with you so that you can react in a way that is constructive rather than destructive. So thank you to all of you who do write lovely comments. I so appreciate it. Being a Libran, I want you to find me nice and I would like to be popular. That's, I'm afraid, one of the traits of Librans. But just, I'm Cancer Rising, so that's why I empathise with Cancers as well greatly. And I just want to thank you so much. Please know I've got a $25 special offer and you can ask me a question and I will answer you in an email up to 150 words. Or for those of you that would like a more in-depth reading, please take a look at my website. You might want a financial reading, a relationship reading, or just a general direction reading in your life. So once again, thank you so much for listening. Happy birthday to those of you that have birthdays, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.